the Lincolnshire National is next. Uh, we've got a very small field for this, just six. Uh, three miles and five furlongs. And it's a 0 to 120. And at the top, finding Alice Ford, Martin Leader, Madeline Rose, Padre Hogan, Flint's Bullet, Martin Leader, another way, Obi Wan, Diamonds, Obi Wan, and Octopussy, Stu Gray. So, just the four trainers in this. And away we go then. And a very short one to the first. A mistake at the back there by another way. And so, we should welcome Stu and Padre to the. Sirius and Martin Fireside chat race, which is what these seem to have become. I've already given a speech earlier on today in the three runner race with me and Vinny, and so anyone who's interested in it, go back and watch that. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Get over the water, past the winning post with a circuit to go, and Flynn's bullet is in the lead for another way second, Madeline Rose third, finding Alice Octopussy, and then finally diamonds at the back so Flynn's bullet bowls along in the lead on the first of Obi-Wan's two another way and Madeline Rose on the inside or Padre Hogan the two greys are together finding Alice and Octopussy and then diamonds it's just the back marker as they get over number four still got 19 more to go Flynn's bullet is the leader. And they're all safely over that one on the speech in case anybody was interested was about why we need more runners. And the fact that it's not a ploy for the top trainers to get more horses. It was my idea and it's because the races can get boring. And as a faller there, Diamonds has gone. If there are only three in it, you have to listen to me waffling. The alternative is no comms on small fields because we just can't got the time. It takes just as long to do this three mile five furlong race with 25 runners as it would with five and it's a far more enjoyable experience when you've got something to see. Anyway Flint's bullet is the leader from another way in second and then Madeline Rose is third Octopussy fourth and finding Alice is the back marker of the five that remain. That's Obi One is now down to one. Still leaves the commentator with two horses in the race, topping and tailing the field. So Flynn's bullet then is well clear. Getting over the next. All safely over that one. With another way in second. And then Madeline Rose back in third as I get to the next, which is the ninth. Nicely over that one. So he flins the ball it well clear as they can't then pass the stand again. They'll take the water. And they'll hit out on another circuit. We need flins ball it about five lengths clear of another way in second. Madeline Rose in third. And a gap of Five or six lengths again then to finding Alice. And finally Octopussy, who is just the back marker. So Flynn's bullet it is in two miles still to go. Madeline Rose is second. Another way is third. Finding Alice is fourth. And Octopussy is fifth. Rain coming down. If I remember rightly, I think in this race last season, I think I dead heated with John Morgan. Bucko may have dead heated with one of John Morgan's horses in this before going on to take the Hennessy ladder in the season. Bucko was a winner yesterday, so maybe this could be a form guide to this race. The winner from this might go on to do something later in the season or next season, even. It's Flynn's bullet in the lead at the moment from Madeline Rose second. Another way third, and then finding Alice and Octopussy. But the field is definitely getting much closer together now. And Flynn's bullet's lead is a little more than two lengths. Madeline Rose is a similar distance ahead of 
another way. It's about a length and a half ahead of Octopussy and Finding Alice, who are keeping each other company at the back. Finn's bullet. Really stood off that and did well to get away with it. And that's allowed Madeline Rose to get up to within a length. Drop that one much nicer. Finn's bullet in the lead. Despite that mistake, a couple of fences are going to get into the next one. I know that one nicely as well. Finding Alice jumped it all towards the back. Flynn's bullet and Madeline Rose. Already coming up past the winning post in the stand again and over the water they go. Just one more time to go around now. And Flynn's bullet's the leader by two and a half lengths to Madeline Rose in second. Finding Alice is back in third. Another way is fourth. An octopussy is fifth. Flynn's bullet led pretty much all the way so far. Madeline Rose stalking in second. Finding Alice the one who's creeping a little bit closer in third. Another way on the inside is fourth. And Octopus is still happy to sit at the back as they take the 18th. And well, that one okay. Flynn's bullet just being pushed along to keep up to his work. Madeline Rose in second, finding Alice over that ditch was a bit slow jumping it, but appeared before that to be going best of all. But now Flynn's bullet pushes on again and suddenly opens up three lengths. Octopus is the one who's now starting to make an interesting looking move, and it's Flynn's bullet who's in the lead. Madeline Rose is second, Octopus is third, finding Alice four, and then another way as they get over the 20th. They've just got three more to take then now, and Flynn's bullet is clear by four, but Octopus is moving into second. Then comes Madeline Rose, finding Alice making ground on the outside, another way after that one. One isn't out of it yet. They've got three more to take still, and they've still got four furlongs to race. And Flynn's bullet is three clear of Octopussy in second. Then finding Alice and Madeline Rose together. After that one comes another way. The one is just a little bit detached, but it's Flynn's bullet who's still in the lead. Flynn's bullet by two. Madeline Rose now regains second as Octopussy goes onto the fence on inside in third. Finding Alice is trying to get there in fourth. Another way looks a little bit out of it in, in fifth, but there's still time to go yet. Two furlongs still to go. Three more fences still to take. Flynn's bullet now being joined for the first time by Madeline Rose and Madeline Rose might be poking her head in front. Madeline Rose then over that one. Jumps it into the lead from Flynn's bullet second. Octopussy third. Finding Alice trying to run in fourth. Over the second last they go. And Madeline Rose is now gone too clear. Flynn's bullet's looking tired. Octopussy and Finding Alice looking one pace over the final fence they go. And Madeline Rose is over it clear. And four or five lengths clear. And Madeline Rose is going to take this one pretty comfortably for Padre and Hogan and rating up towards the line of Lincoln GM National Ghost to Madeline Rose Flynn's bullet second octopus in third final is fourth and another way was that fifth so Madeline Rose the winner then for Padre and Hogan the long time leader Flynn's bullet was second for Martin Leadham and Octopussy for Stu Gray was third with Finding Alice Martin Leadham again in fourth and then Another way, bringing up the rear in fifth for Obi-Wan.